Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In a previous uh, video I showed how to create tessellations but using a pre-existing Inkscape file I'd written which contained regular polygons of equal side length. But if you haven't got that file or you want to do it from scratch I'll show you how to do that now. First thing is to start with say a square if that's one of the shapes in our tessellation. Squares and, poly and rectangles tool, control shift and drag a square there. Uh, click the select tool, see it's 20.735, you can lock the uh, dimensions there and then change it to what you want but look I'll just show you can use any side length, I'll stick with the 20.735 and we'll go across and we'll drag some guides and I'll drag it till it snaps to the bottom of the square on the left then one on the right and then one in the middle but you must have midpoint snapping turned on for this to work and in the middle there it snaps, click away so there's a square with some guides on each side and in the middle. Now if I want a hexagon of the same side length, click the polygon tool, change the number of side lengths to 6, leave the other settings as they are, control shift to drag out a hexagon with a flat base preferably, something like that. Then drag from around the middle of the top or the bottom, but I'll drag it from around here. I don't want to click on here because I don't want to distort it. So drag them just a bit to the side of the middle until it snaps to the middle of the middle guide there. You can see that snapping there. Now control shift and drag it in until one of the corners snaps to the other guides, the right hand one in this case, and we have a hexagon of the same side length. I'll drag it off. Let's say we wanted a polygon uh, with 12 sides, a dodecagon. Make sure you've got nothing selected uh, before you do that, otherwise you'll change the previous polygon. Control shift again, drag so it's got a flat base. In this case you can see the side length is actually smaller than what I want, but again if I drag it from just a bit to the side of the middle at the top and snap it there, this time I'll control shift and drag out until one of the side lengths snaps, there it is. And you can see it's the same side length as the square. So I've got polygons of the right side length. If I go to edit, delete all guides, I can get rid of the guides, I don't need those now. Let's just give the central one a colour, give the square a colour, and the hexagon a colour. And we can start to assemble our tessellation unit. I'm going to snap that there, you can see I've got cusp mode snapping. Control D to duplicate, and you can just drag it around. It doesn't take long to snap it on to the various sides or alternating sides. Control D and drag. I'll just drag the square out. I'll put that in there. Control D, drag another square there. Control D, and you see it's not the right angle. But if I use the right square bracket, one, two, then it's 15 degree increments, so that rotates at 30 degrees, and that's what I require there. Uh, I could uh, Control D to duplicate that and then reflect it using this icon. Drag it over there, that's one way. Or I could have done uh, one of these squares and left bracket twice to get that orientation. Okay, this one control D, snap down here. This one control D to duplicate and snap a copy down there. I've got our basic unit. I'll drag around that, control D to group and control shift to drag it in a bit. Now I can control D the whole group and drag it over. It can overlap shapes, that's okay. Control D and keep overlapping. You can build up a tessellation pretty quickly. Control D, I can drag one into here. And so forth, yep. And there it is. And you can continue to build up a tessellation. I'll finish it off with uh, shift clicking these three ones here and Control D to duplicate them all at once and drag down to snap there. So you can see I've duplicated what I had up there or something pretty similar pretty quickly. There are problems if you have uh, something like a pentagon that won't tessellate, but if you wanted to investigate whether it did or not, or do other patterns, uh, I'll just show you. For example, if I click that and reduce the side lengths to 5 to create a pentagon, it doesn't matter what you do, you can't get the flat base. So I'll just show you how you can get around that. Click and drag a guide, snap it down till the corner snaps there. Click a second time on the side and drag the centre of rotation to where the corner is on the guide and then drag down till it snaps to the guide. You can drag the guide off 
and that's one way of getting a pentagon with a flat base. Anyway, hope that helps, and as always, thanks for watching.